Let's start by reading this question. We're told that we want to let M represent the event that a randomly selected student is in the marching band, and then E is to represent the event that a randomly selected student is an engineering major. Describe the event represented by the complement of M. Okay, so essentially the complement of M is not M. It's everything else, right? So if M is the, let's use a Venn diagram here. If, first of all, everything can happen, everything is represented by this rectangle. M is our sample space for the event that a student is in marching band, right? The complement is everything that is not M. It's everything else. That's the complement of M. And you might see that as M like this, with like a M prime or like M complement or not N M or something like that. Uh, so we can say it is those who, a randomly selected student that is not in marching band. So I'll say, since M is the randomly selected student in marching band, its complement is a random student not in marching band. Okay. Describe the event represented by the complement of E. So, right, our Venn diagram, again, I think is useful. There's everything that can happen. Here is M, students who are in marching band, and E, those who are engineering majors. Now we know there's some overlap because this is actually the follow-up to a previous problem. Now the complement of E though is everything that's not E. So I did draw M in here, but watch this. If I see the complement of E, it's just everything that's not E. And you can see that that includes some of M, but not the intersection here where M and E meet. So it's the complement, so it's a random student Right, it's a random student that is not that is not a, an engineering major. All the students who are not engineering majors. Describe the event M and E, or M intersect E, which is this notation right there. Now I'm just going to keep redrawing these Venn diagrams. The idea is you've got M, you've got E, you've got when um, the engineering majors, when they're in marching band, and sometimes they overlap. That's called the intersection, and that's when a student, a random student, is in marching band and an engineering major. So random student is in marching band and an engineering student, All right? They're both. Okay, finally, describe the event M or E, M union E, which is written like this as well. So that's, when you hear the word or in mathematics, it usually means one or the other or both. And as a picture, let's keep using our Venn diagrams here. We've got those, right? We've got those who are in marching band, those who are engineering majors. And we're saying, well, they're in marching band or they're an engineer. I use red for engineers. But oops, we've counted that middle twice, right? So we want to be careful not to count that twice and subtract out the second time we've counted it. Okay, so it is those who are... Um, in marching band or or engineering students, right? So they could be in marching band and not be an engineering student, but it's one or the other now. So it's a random student, random student in marching band or an engineering Students. So only at the end where they have to be in both, it could you can have an engineering student that's not in marching band, that's represented by this region here, and a uh, student who's in marching band but not an engineer, 
or you could have both, which is this middle region right here. Okay, question two. Based on the uncompleted 2A frequency table, determine the following and explain how you got your answer. Okay, so this is going back to the our previous video that we did, and I'm just referencing my notes here. I'm going to scroll up and show you. This is the table that we made, and we want to know a couple of probabilities. The first one, what does it say? Probability that a randomly selected student is in the marching band. Well, let's take a look. In marching band. Okay. So we're looking at this column heading right here, randomly in the marching band. Well, how many are there? There are 160 students that are randomly in marching band. Out of how many students? 805. When they say randomly selected student, they are saying from the total. So it's always going to be out of this number here. And I'm looking at this column, which is the number of students who are in marching band. So it's just 160 out of 805. So I'll put that here. Oops, I don't want to highlight it there. We use a pen. 160 out of 805, which is about, I don't think, let's see, as a fraction, we're done, but I'll write it as a decimal. It's about 0.199. Next, the probability that a randomly selected student is an engineering major, same idea. We go up here, but now we're looking along the row. So the engineering major, we've got 175 of them out of 805. And that's it. So we go down. 175, still out of the total, out of 805, that's about 0.217. The probability that a randomly selected student is in the marching band and, so now we have an intersection, and an engineering major. Okay, so let's go here. So they're in the marching band here. No, I don't want to erase that, oh boy. They're in the marching band, and they're an engineering major. They intersect here, right? They intersect at 40. And it's a randomly selected student, so it's from the total. So it's 40 out of 805. 40 out of 805. And I get that to be about 0 0.05. And then finally, what do we have? The probability that a randomly selected student is in the marching band and not an engineering major another intersection. So they're in marching band, but, so here's marching band, but they're not an engineering major. You can see they intersect now here. So it's 120 out of 805. That's all there is to it. 120 out of 805. So let's put that in. 120 out of 805. And I get that to be about 0 0.149. All right, I hope this helped.